Hi, and welcome to the Saturday Christian Church's online sermon. Noah, whom we've been talking about, gives an amazing example of faith in action. Because without the doing, the faith is not has little or no meaning. Hebrews 11.7, this is the uh, 11th uh, book of uh, Hebrews, talks about faith. That doing things that one cannot see. Just going ahead and doing it because God says to do it. So he continues by talking about various people. And by faith, he says that Noah, being warned of God, that's all that Noah had. Now, here he puts his trust in God rather than the obvious world around him. I mean, he was told to build an ark in the middle of nowhere and nowhere near the water, and he did it. I mean, who knows how far away the water was from where Noah built the ark. But it would have taken a pretty big bulldozer, which they didn't have then, to move it there. So it's being warned by God about things not yet seen. That's the amazing thing about faith. Who do you trust? Trust God, you do what he says. Or you trust something else. Now, uh, in reverence, now reverence has the meaning of uh, careful to obey out of his great loyalty and faithfulness for God. So in reverence, he prepared an ark for the salvation of his household by which he condemned the world and became an heir of righteousness, which is according to faith. I will show my, uh, I will show my faith by the righteousness, by my righteousness, it is said. Now, <clears throat> in reverence, careful to obey out of loyalty and faithfulness, reverence is opposed to the world's sneering disbelief of the revelation. God reveals things, People just do not believe it. I mean, there's so many things that we could talk about that God reveals to people. I just don't do it. They just don't accept it. No, it's not right. We can prove that the Bible is not right. No, you can't. But they do it anyway. It's so it's a self-deceiving security, joined by faith with prepared an ark. This was his faith. It's got to have taken a very long time. To build an ark. Now how much of a carpenter we don't know. But it's not quick and easy thing to do. Peter says uh, who uh, disobeyed long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah. The people then, we've talked about that. We, 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 it's very hard to explain the little stuff that goes on in the world today uh, about the depravity back then. Uh, so God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. So it took some time. So God waited patiently. In it, only a few people, eight and all, were saved through the water. But God waited patiently uh, for his faith to come through finally and completely. Not that it, 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 his faith is completed by finishing the ark. Sometimes we'll start things by faith, but we don't finish it. In this case, he finished it. So he believed and was saved. Uh, so, uh, so might they have believed and been saved so that the condemnation, condemnation by God is in this case to be shown to be just, righteous by faith. The Greek according to faith. We show our works by our faith. And this is the faith of Noah. It's righteousness. And Peter says, if he did not spare the ancient world, when he brought the flood on the ungodly people, but he protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness and seven others. So Noah went out there. People came along, had to see what he was doing there. I mean, it was a bad world. People were going to be nosy. And then give him a push there or something. Probably not. But they, he, he preached the righteousness. He says, you can't do these things. They do it anyway. You can't do these things. Yeah, go away, Noah. We're going to beat you up if you don't keep your mouth shut. But he went on and preached the righteousness. And then God said, Behold, I, even I, second time, 
bringing the flood of water upon the earth to destroy all flesh in which the breath of life from under heaven, everything that is on the earth shall perish. God warns things twice. He says it once, and we like to say, when he tells I told you once, I'm not going to tell you again. Well, God told him twice. And when he tells him twice, it's a fiat accompli. It's done. It's over. It may take a few days, a week or two, whatever, but it's over. And then he says, I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall enter the ark. We're going to go more into the covenant. And you and your wife and sons and daughters, uh, that your, uh, yeah, and your son's wives with you. This whole family goes in there. That's what God said. You take them in there. You're not going to go in there by yourself. He goes on to say, And every living thing of all flesh you shall bring two of every kind into the ark to keep them alive with you. So he's going to destroy everything on the earth, but he's putting all this stuff into the ark. Birds after their kind, oh, male and female, birds after their kind, left out. And of the animals after their kind, of every creeping thing on the ground after its kind, two of every kind will come to you to keep them alive. He didn't go out to have to search them. Sometimes you miss that, you know. They came. There they are, marching up there. Put us in the ark now. As for you, take some for yourself, some of all the food which is edible, and gather it to yourself and uh, be food for you and food for them. To say it again, uh, and it says it later, it doesn't say it here specifically, but it says it later, of the clean foods bring two of each. Uh, excuse me, seven of the pair. That's what I meant to say. Seven uh, of each pair. And gather it to yourselves, and it shall be food for you and for them. That's why God provided food. People say, oh, God just tells them, you know, you, you shouldn't eat these foods because, you know, He's just testing you. They're okay. Well, this is what he gave them. The best of the law. Even at God's command, he brought the necessities of life, food that God put into the creation. All the creation is now in the ark. All the things that God created is in the ark now. Not just the uh, material things, but the things that um, he uh, grew on the planet. Uh, thus Noah did according to all that God commanded him, so he did. He began without delay to prepare the colossal fabric, the uh, ark, in every way, step for the progress, faithfully followed the divine direction he had received. Then the Lord said to Noah, Okay now, get in there, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteousness before me in this time. And Noah completed his last few steps of faith by climbing or getting into the ark, however he entered it. And the ark was finished. And Noah now completing the faith that God had in him. And the spirit of implicit faith which God had influenced his whole conduct, conduct waited for directions from God. He said, you shall take with you, it's repeated here again, animals by seven, male and female, and animals that are not clean, two are male and female. Also the birds of the sky by sevens, males and females, to keep the offspring alive on the face of the earth. Also you get the number seven. God rested on the seventh day. So Noah now rests on this seventh period of the seventh all the other things of the seven. And the 40 days also have a special meaning. A week left for the world to repent. What a solemn pause. Did they laugh and ridicule his folly still? He whose eyes saw and his heart felt the amount of human iniquity and perverseness. The seventh day was God's holy day of rest. Seven days. Noah did all that God has commanded him. Now Noah was 600 years old. When they entered the ark of the clean animals, of the clean animals and the animals that are not clean and the birds and everything on the ground, they went into the ark, male and female, as God commanded Noah. Doubtlessly the animals were led by divine impulse. Their numbers could be so, not so large as fight for sight imagined, but it's been calculated there are not more than 300 distinct species of beasts and birds, immense variety traceable 
to the influence of climate and other circumstances. It came about after the seven days. Noah's faith is shown by the water of the flood that came upon the earth. He trusted God and built the ark, and it happened. The second month of the seventeenth day of the month, the fountains of the great deep burst open, and the floodgates of the sky were opened, and the fray the rain fell on the earth for forty days and forty nights. Noah's faith at the very end worked. Thus his righteousness also. Amen, and thank you for watching and listening.